Now at five, a grieving father makes a plea for the people responsible for his son's death to be held accountable. Greg Coleman Jr. died after getting punched outside of a bar in the short north. One of two men accused in the beating appeared in court just hours ago. Thanks for joining us tonight at five. I'm Andrew Kinsey. Yolanda is off. 10 TV's Lacey Crisp was inside the courtroom and spoke with Coleman's father. The man charged with beating Gregory Coleman Jr. to death in the short north will remain behind bars. Meanwhile, Coleman's family is pleading for the other suspect to turn himself in. This is terrible. This is probably the worst thing that could happen to a family. Gregory Coleman is still grieving the loss of his son, Greg Coleman Jr. He says the worst part is that several people watched the suspects beat his son in the short north on September 5th but no one stepped in to help. That's the worst part of it, that people took pictures and they even had somebody there to film my son being beaten to death. And to me, that's just horrible because one day my granddaughter will have to see how her dad died. One of the suspects, Dwayne Cummings, appeared in court today and will remain behind bars. Coleman vows to attend every court hearing. I'm going to be here if I have to crawl. I want to see justice for Greg. He didn't deserve this. He was a good kid. But he hopes he'll soon be able to attend a court hearing of the second man charged with murder, Christian Foster. Foster is not in custody yet. And this guy is still free. And people are protecting him. Instead of turning him in, he needs to face the justice. If you know where Christian Foster is, Coleman's family is begging you to call Columbus police. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.